Hey guys, Slap Attack here, and welcome back to World of Tank Blitz. And in this video, guys, I'll be showing you some gameplay on the VK3002 D. Um, yes, I finally found a way to pronounce it. Um, but anyways, uh, it's been actually some time since I posted a video, or since I actually showed you guys uh, some actual gameplay of tank I'm actually grinding. Um, and it has been a while since I've grinded a tank, um, like officially. Um, I have before, but I just kind of gave up on them. I wasn't really trying hard. But uh, this time, every time I play or get on, I always uh, play on this tank a couple of battles. Um, so yeah, I think I'll estimate it take me around two to three months to get to the Leopard one at the at the pace I'm going <laughs> because I'm, I haven't played in actually some time. Um, I'm planning to play actually today or tomorrow just to get some gameplay and uh, and work on it. Um, but anyways, yeah, as I was saying, it's been a while since um, since me and Gigi have actually um, grinded for a tank together. Um, last time we did that, it was in... Oh jeez, I can't even remember. Um, it was either I think the IS-7 and the T-62A, or the E-100 and the E-5, the uh, the OG E-100 and E-5 platoon. Um, no, but yeah. Anyways, uh, we're going. She's going for the um, E-50M, obviously. Um, and I'm going for the Leopard One. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah. So we've had a lot of fun trying to grind these tanks. Um, and uh, a lot of frustration as well. Now, the um, the VK-3001. Uh, or 3002, sorry, D, um, is not a particularly amazing tank, um, it's not known for its amazingness, actually, um, it's, it's armor's fairly weak, although you can bounce some shots, I'll, I'll give it that, um, you can bounce a couple of shots, um, as if you angle your armor well, and I must say, you have to play this tank a whole ton if you want to get, you know, halfway decent in it, because this is a, this is n by any means not an easy tank to play, um, I'm still absolutely horrible in this tank um so yeah if that gives you any indication um but it really is a really hard tank to play and i would thoroughly recommend skipping it if you can because if there were any tank that you were going to skip it would probably be the the uh vk 3001d and the vk 3002d um but that's just my opinion you guys might love this tank or some of you guys anyway um i know a lot of this is definitely not a fan favorite by any means um but uh, i think a lot of people do uh, like this tank and if you do then please definitely let me know how to play it because I really need some tips um, because I'm not amazingly well at this tank um, but what I'm mostly I'm frustrated about is the gun this gun is just so amazingly unreliable um, that I just want to throw it out the window like my iPad out the window because I've just bounced so many shots on this and on my gun anyway off other people not my armor um but yeah and i when i get a fully aimed shot at someone it just goes straight into the ground or in the air or i kill a building or something like that it's just so frustrating and, and when i let me look at that that's so frustrating and i mean it could be my aim which i mean it probably is but I, either way i'm pretty mad at my aim so i obviously need i mean look at that i aimed at the t29 and i shoot the t43 who was hiding behind that t25 at that is absolutely insane and i I was just so frustrated with the gun recently. Um, but as you can see, I'm, I could go for Rosanis right now. Um, in fact, I was actually trying, but um, unfortunately, thanks, Sarah. <laughs> thanks a lot. Um, no, uh, yeah, I think she deserved a kill. Uh, but that could have been a Rosanis anyway. Um, so we're up to a Radley Walters medal here. Um, but anyways, uh, we are moving up to the find the stug there we are um this is actually quite funny um so i aim and a bounce yes i shouldn't have aimed in third person you're right but i don't care what you say um no i'm just kidding um but i was like oh my goodness and how i managed to get that kill and look at gg she's black there blocking everyone oh my goodness you could get reported for that but i got she she risked her account to get me a uh what was that a uh what is that called? I forget. The, the pools medal. Right, right, right. The pools medal. Yeah, she risked her account to get me a pools medal. So thank you so much, GG, for your sacrifice. You probably could get banned, but, you know, YOLO, right? Um, anyways, so yeah, that was, that was pretty funny and also a frustrating game as well. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, as I was talking about the VK 3002D, um, its gun is obviously not my favorite part about it. Um, something that I do like about the tank, though, is probably just the um, all-around, I guess, of it, um, the all-around aspect of it. Um, the armor is pretty good. The mobility is not horribly bad. Um, it, it does have its flaws. Um, for instance, its ex acceleration isn't absolutely amazing. Um, it's you know, as I said, its armor is good. Its mobility is okay, and its gun is okay. I wouldn't say it's good because I've been quite frustrated with the gun lately. Um, but you know, that could be just I don't know me or something like that, and something I need to improve. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's totally not a bad tag, and it's totally not you know, I totally don't hate it. Um, but it does take quite a lot of, you know, experience in this tank to actually get halfway decent in it, um, which I am not, and 
I really do need, you do really do need, for these kind of tanks, like maybe the T20, um, like my last video, I forget, my last, last video, you really do need to play a lot of those kind of tanks to actually get good in them, you know, um, so the tanks with the, with the bad reputation, you do really need to play those tanks a lot in order to actually, you know, see what's so bad about it and, you know, to see its good sides and all that stuff, um, but anyways, uh, now let's focus on the gameplay here, so, as I said, on the VK3000 2D, um, as you can see, I'm just rolling around the map here on a flat surface like this. It per on flat surfaces or city maps like this, it performs absolutely amazingly um, because I mean you can just get out and uh, you know or get in, in the action, um, and it really is amazing. Um, and uh, we're about to see some gun capabilities here, so I'm struggling to aim at something. Thank you, auto aim. Um, and uh, see me stug moves down there. Um, that VK is going to be a bit of a problem if I try to move up, put a shot on the tiger. He's going to move up and uh, put a shot to our side. Will we land a shot? Alright, we put one shot to him. Uh, Gigi's putting some nice sniper shots to them. I think it's impossible to miss in the Panther. I mean, just look at that barrel there. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, I mean, just absolutely. I mean, it must be so accurate, but I haven't played it yet, so I don't know. Um, see, that's what I'm talking about. Just balances like that. It's just all around frustrating. Um, and that I really just can't stand. So I thought I was going to uh, get us on the tiger. Uh, there we go again. There's another balance, and it's really frustrating. And thanks to Gigi's super, super long barrel, he's like messing up my aim here. Oh my goodness, do you see that, guys? I, I think I hit on top of the tiger's, um, what do you call it, chassis there. That was, I don't know, it's shots like those that really just make me mad. And no, uh, GG, would you mind moving? Thank you. Um, so yeah, now we're just moving on up here. Right now, I'm just so frustrated. I just want to quit right now. I was like, okay, you owe me a kill, so I'm getting that for myself. <laughs> so I was pretty mad and bounced a shot so that maybe that cooled me down a bit. Um, put a shot to the uh, VK3001D. And uh, will we finish him off? All right, good. We finished him off. All right. Um, now we have uh, a couple of tier sevens to deal with here. Um, so GG, would you mind moving again? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yeah, that's been quite a problem uh, for us lately. Is she's always on the outside, and it's just so frustrating. It's like move your barrel, please. It's so in the way. It's just so long. Um, so yeah. Anyways. Um, so now I'm engaging this AT. 15A, I can't even read that, um, and uh, yeah, I'm just moving up behind him, uh, I think he's going to die pretty quickly, um, alright, we put one shot into him, and he's down, and now we're going to move back, and uh, take care of the tiger, but I think GG's already got it, um, but anyways guys, that is pretty much it for this video, I'm sorry it's pretty short, I'll have some more gameplay on this uh, tank, uh, maybe the Indian Panzer as well, um, but uh, let's get into the comment of the video, and that would be, actually I've gotten a lot of, <laughs> I didn't get many comments of the video, uh, last video because people were just like, oh my gosh, that did not look, think what he looked like, blah, blah, blah. and I, I, I totally agree with you, I do not sound what I look like, which sounds weird, um, okay, um, so yeah, for all the people that are wondering, I'm not, um, Mexican or black or whatever, um, I'm Southeast Asian, well, half Southeast Asian, my mother, my mother is from the north of the Americas, um, no, uh, it, well, not Canada, <laughs> sorry, not Canada, um, north of the United States, I'm not gonna say specifically where, um, and my father is from Southeast Asia, I'm not gonna say specifically where, again, um, but yeah, anyways, that is, uh, that's pretty much it for the video, so I just wanted to clear that up, because a lot of people really didn't seem to understand where I was, came from, whatever, um, so yeah, anyways, um, so, oh yeah, I was gonna get to the comment of the video, my bad, kind of got sidetracked there, um, anyways, uh, where in the world is it, um, okay, well, I guess I can say who it's from, it's from Connor Byron, Byron. okay, that's really, I thought it was Brian or something, because he was B-I-B-Y-R-N-E, and I was like, oh my, oh, you're just, last name's too confusing, you gotta, you gotta tell me how to pronounce it, um, anyway, so yeah. Um, he said, he probably didn't need me for this to be a comment of the video because he didn't put COTB, but, uh, shoot, where is it? Oh yeah, his, uh, or how, I meant, I guess he meant to put how, um, he did his, um, but how do you outskill an enemy even when you're outnumbered, um, question mark. Um, so, uh, Connor, and let me tell you something, okay, um, so I'm actually planning to make a video about that very, very soon, just how to deal with, you know, enemies when you're outnumbered, just like he said. Um, so, um, I actually have some amazing footage on that. Um, I do like, actually, 3v1s, 2v1s, those are, like, amazingly fun to play, and they're just, they get your heart racing, and it's just absolutely amazingly fun to play. And when you win them, it's even more fun. Um, but I did make a video on that when, uh, a while back, actually, I did 7,000 damage in the T62A. That's the thumbnail, anyway. Um, so you can go look at that and see how I dealt with that. Um, but I'm gonna make an official video on how to deal when you're outnumbered. Um, so yeah, that is... 
that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, future video on that coming up. Um, so don't worry, Connor. I'll, I'll get to that pretty soon. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. So thank you again so much for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.